And we've now got a mass storage system. <laughs> so nice, so convenient. Uh... What's going on guys? It's me Jiggly and you're probably... Yeah, if you're like me, you're looking at me like, uh, what the heck is this series? <laughs> this is the Pixelmon series still, guys. But I found a texture pack that I wanted to try out, and it looks pretty cool. So, uh, and you're probably looking like, Jiggly, you got a map in the top right corner. And I'm like, yeah, I know. <laughs> this this texture pack is really cool, though. Um, and... <sighs> I don't know about you, but I'm a fan of modded Minecraft, and so the only downfall and trouble to all this is, is that it's 1.10.2, so a lot of the mods that I really enjoy playing are not quite updated to it. So we're trying out some different ones, but you'll notice first and foremost, we have just enough items installed, so I'm stoked. Uh, and, the, and the first one that I'm wanting to get set up is you guessed it a central storage system because if you've been in my house uh, lately <laughs> I'm kind of uh, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm kind of tired of having all of these different chests I want a centralized storage system so to start that off we're going to need a storage core so first and foremost to make a storage core we're gonna need a blank box a chest and an iron ingot super easy uh, we're gonna need oak planks and okay, so we can do that right now already. Sweet deal. So we're gonna we're gonna start a central storage core system for ourselves because if you're like me, you don't want. Oh yeah, we get two boxes. Awesome. I uh, I don't want to have everything everywhere all over the place. So uh, we're gonna need iron. We're gonna need a lot of iron actually. And thankfully, I think we can accommodate that we're gonna get us a condensed storage with 4,000 items so yeah search box what are we gonna need enchanted books oh, okay all right let's let's get back to the storage core first and foremost we're gonna need one of those one of those and boom so we have a storage core we have a storage core we have we have a storage core um, yeah, I kind of want to put it right there. What's, oh yeah, of course that's a full chest. This one's not though. So let's go ahead and pull these back out. And then we can chop this up. Boom. And we'll take the chest because I think we're going to need them. And we're going to put in our storage core. Just like that. Look at that. Now we have a storage core. So first things first, we got to make a storage box. It's four chests and a blank box. Oh my goodness, if that isn't easy enough. Um, so we already have two chests. So let's just make two up. Just like that. Boom. And then a box. Boom. And we have a storage box. Nice. Now a condensed storage box. Four blocks of iron and iron bars. So let's make up our iron bars real quick. Boom. Alright, we got 16 iron bars. Now we need... Uh, a lot of iron. <laughs> Boom. One, two. Boom. There we go. We got four blocks of iron. So we go like that. And then I think we put the bars on the outside and the storage box. Alright, I might have messed that up. I'm thinking I messed that up, guys. Yep, I did. Alright, condensed storage box. Now we can store 4,000 items uh, but a super storage we're gonna need a lot of gold <laughs> it, yeah we need a lot of gold alright so let's let's dig down uh, let's dig down underneath this guy and let's put that 4,000 storage just like that there we go and then let's put our oak back there we go just like that now we got access to a storage core so now let's go ahead and put all of our Pokeball stuff in there that we had in there before. And yeah, yeah we got a lot of stuff. Um, let's just start putting all this stuff in there first and we'll get rid of that chest. 
and you'll see how everything stacks. Uh, later, if you do a sorting box, you can pick and choose uh, how to sort, essentially. But uh, yeah, for now, we're going to do it that way. Um, yeah, this could be uh, aluminum ingot, gunpowder, the elevator block, all the stone, the diorite. Uh, we're going to hold on to the iron shovel. We're going to leave the cooked chicken there. Um, we're uh, let's get all this stuff out and then we'll open up those two chests and we might make a second one just so we have 8,000 spots <laughs> I know I know but we're gonna we're gonna run through a lot of this stuff Ooh, we do have some gold ingots though and gold nuggets Wow oh so that's reassuring and we do have redstone redstone has a different look with this texture pack that's good to know uh, let's bring the wood back there, the dye right there. So, yeah, we might we might have to make up oddish. <laughs> we might have to make up one more one more storage core thing. Yeah, this is getting filled up quick. <laughs> Sadly. Uh, boom, boom, boom. The upside though is everything is centrally stored guys so no more going chest by chest like where did we have our stuff it's there it'll all stack it's that's the coolest part about this and I had iron bars already oh, brother <laughs> uh, so mean uh, I was talking to quags and I was like man we need something we need some more mods and this easy storage actually is in quickly craft but this one is so much more updated and yes, you can just push R over something, and j just enough items is working so much cleaner. I think I have the wrong version of any eye on that Quigley Craft, but uh, yeah. Right, so let's break that up. Dude, this Oddish wants me. Yeah, wants me. <laughs> uh, and I can also put a security lock on it so that Quags can't come steal from me. <laughs> That's the other cool part. So on this particular mod. What was that brown stuff though? Blaze powder and seeds, that's right, okay. I was like, what is that stuff, an egg? I don't know about this texture pack. Like, the items are, I don't know, they're different. They're a little different. <laughs> We're just getting everything moved over for now. Oh my goodness. No! I want my wood. You can have the brown hardened clay <laughs> and the stone hammer. Uh, I'm keeping my chicken though. You ain't taking my chicken, man. <laughs> there we go. And the reason why we need this automation stuff is because we actually have um, progressive automation in here as well. So we're going to cook up that raw fish though. We're going to get that cooking. Uh, yeah. Let's get you cooking though. I don't I don't there's no sense in having raw fish laying around. Okay, so I know I can make another storage core, but I need to make um, one of those storage box things. So we need to do one stick. Thankfully I have a massive tree farm outside. Yeah. That's super helpful. <laughs> uh one chest, one thing, and an iron. Gosh darn it. We need iron. <laughs> and then I don't know what we're gonna gather for pick uh, for Pokemon this this round. Um, we're gonna have to see. But we also have the mini map, which is super cool because now I can set waypoints and know where to go. So that's really really awesome. Uh, wait wait, what am I doing here? Uh, we need to make a storage box for chest with a box boom okay there we go and then we need to do uh, and oh, the cool thing too is after you use these you can break them and upgrade them uh, you used to be able to I imagine you still can uh, we need to make uh, four more blocks of iron all our iron is going bye bye but once we have all this done then we're in business um, gosh I can't remember I think those are on the outside those are on the inside and that was like that yep all right condensed there we go all right let's break this down 
And they just have to be they just have to be blocked together. They have to be touching, pretty much similar to how the AE system was. Um, all right, we're gonna extract that dirt. We're gonna put that there, just like that. All right, let's put the dirt up, the iron up, the blank box, the dirt. Sure, why not? Okay, now we have eight thousand storage. Now we have quite a bit of storage, so we're set. All right, now we have we have we have completely cleaned up our. Um, a block of iron, block of iron. Man, they're so expensive to do. Um, that was the search box. The sorting box is what? Redstone comparators and an empty map. That's easy to do. Um, okay, so, and I'm also tempted to see about making a mod pack for this Pixelmon with us and potentially maybe a public server one day with it. We'll see. Let me know what your thoughts are down below, guys, in the comments. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I want to put the sorting box on, but I, or a crafting box even. That looks cool. All oh, the eye enders and a diamond. Ouch. Yeah, that sucks. Blaze powder and an ender pearl, which, believe it or not, we have three ender pearls. Oh my gosh, I could make a craft box from it. That is awesome. Uh, the import is just a block of quartz, which we need quartz, pistons. Uh, that's if we were to run this uh, differently. Hyper storage is obsidian. So the sorting box is kind of what I want. Redstone comparator, nether quartz. Oh, yeah, see. Okay. Yep. All right. Unfortunately, I have to go get nether quartz. I don't think we have any nether quartz. Oh, my gosh. Actually, we have five. Oh, is that enough? Yep, it is. We can make enough comparators with that. So I could, in theory, make that. Man, those are so expensive. Um, okay. Yeah, I'll work on that later. <laughs> let's go. Um, let's go do some grinding here. There's what other mods do we have in here though? I, I put there's bat packs. Um, what else? There's so much stuff. Uh, Oh, you can't make that. Inventory tweaks is on. That's right. Um, wow, the buckets look even cool too. That is awesome. Yeah, there's there's quite a bit. Uh, Ender IO is in here, of course. Um, what else did we decide to add in? Uh, progressive automation. That one's in here. The mini map. But uh, yeah, progressive automation. A wooden miner from a stone miner. Okay, so it's just stone smelted with a wood miner and a stone pickaxe. Okay, and then an iron one. And the iron one can go further down. Uh, stone crafter, <laughs> an iron crafter, diamond crafter. You can automate the crafting. That's awesome. Uh, a diamond chopper. So we need to do the tree one now and have it auto do our trees. That would be really cool. So I'm gonna have to play around with some of that progressive automation. But yeah, check out this texture pack. <laughs> All right, let's see. Where do we want to go? Um, I guess it's only going to show me what I've explored. <laughs> oh, come on, Charizard. Let me hop on, dog. Yeah. All right, let's go exploring. <laughs> we're going to have to go mining, too, though, unfortunately. We're going to have to get some more, um, more materials. That's going to be a necessity. We have to get more ore. We need gold so we can make some uh, rare candies. Which I couldn't find a magical crop farm really that I wanted uh, to use yet. <laughs> so, sadly, ooh, 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 what's in here? Look at that. Fallen dirt, sandstone. Ah! It was a sand trap. <laughs> Uh, 
Let me up. Let me up. Nothing. Just a bunch of sand. Okay. Oh, I didn't want those in my inventory. <laughs> so, yeah. The mini map, it covers the V and the G up top. But whoa. What is that? A cactus? Oh, that looks cool. <laughs> Let's do a little fight with Graveler here. Fight, flamethrower. Burn that one down. There you go. Three gravel, two cobblestone, one andesite. Nice. All right. Which we can use andesite, we found out. Um, with, whatchamacallit, <laughs> that stone miner. Which we are going to, I'm going to build that first and test it. I'm, I'm really going to do it. <laughs> And they introduce another thing into this mod too, the pellets, uh, coal pellets. I want to see if they fire up regular furnaces too. That would be awesome because it, well, it depends on the burn time on it. Oh, this guy gives steak. Let's go get him. <laughs> oh, what? There you go. Fight, flamethrower. Give me my burnt steak, son. Oh. He used ember, it wasn't very effective. I used flamethrower, it wasn't. He must be a fire cow. <laughs> Let's bite him. Yeah, we got blaze powder. That's gonna come in handy. Charizard leveled. Woohoo! Good deal. Oh yeah. <laughs> We're slowly leveling. We're at 53. It's a slow grind, guys. A slow grind. <laughs> I wonder when Quags is gonna want to um I wonder when he's going to want to fight again. That's going to be the next question. <laughs> We're going to have to battle soon, but I just don't know what he has going. I'm so new to Pixelmon, man. <laughs> uh, let's see. Can I take this Nidal Queen? I think so. I think we're going to take her right out. Yeah, ouch. Poison Sting. That's right. Two raw rabbits. Oh boy. Middle Queen gives two raw rabbits. This texture pack's really awesome too. Okay. Um Nittle ran, that thing's so tiny. So tiny. Well, we're gonna have to do some work on the Pixelmon server. Get some automation stuff going. That's for sure. I'm stoked to see what Quags' uh, response is to the to the mods that we've added. He hasn't quite seen them yet, so I'm kind of I'm super stoked to, to find out. Get over here, Arbok. Oh, Arbok. You did. Give me all the loot. Just EXP? Oh, okay. Now that works. <laughs> well, then. All right. Now, let's, let's see. So, I can just that's the beauty is it'll show where I've been on the map so let's go ahead and teleport back which is so sweet that is probably the best thing about that mini map mod is the ability to we're going to take out that Voltorb real quick uh, that's that's probably the best thing about this is um, what, was I, what was I looking at is the teleportation and the, the ability to fast travel that's probably the coolest feature. But I don't know if I'm going to keep on in this mod pack, guys. I just don't know if I like it. It's just not... I don't know. Let me know what you think. <laughs> Tell me your thoughts. Um, slash Pokey Hill. Let me know what your feelings are about it. My feelings, personally. I think it looks alright. But at the same time, it just it's, it's just not me. I don't know. It's, it's different. <laughs> but guys... We leveled our Charizard a little bit, and we've now got a mass storage system. <laughs> so nice, so convenient. Uh, we need to add the sorting block, and whew, I don't, I don't know what else. We need to get a miner going. So I'm gonna work on that, and yeah, I'll probably see you guys soon. Stay tuned for more Pixelmon videos. We'll see how Quags enjoys it, and we'll have to find out when he's gonna want to fight again. It's been a while. But I'm going to focus on getting some stuff automated so that we can advance and hopefully get making some rare candy soon. So 
Thank you so much for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more videos, and take care.